<laughs> hey guys, Delvin Adams here, Backyard Cafe. I'm on the culinary tour in Suriname. So, early in the morning, it's, uh, today's the last day, right? And we're doing the historical city tour and also food, right? Remember, it's a culinary tour, so you learn about history, the history on food, the history on the city, and the people, the culture, and all of this, right? So we're at our first stop. It's very early in the morning. We're try some Suriname's local cuisine, and everyone is there, they're super excited. You see the crowd is down there, ready, waiting to order, right? So let's go see what they're gonna get to order. Don't forget guys, like, share, subscribe. This is gonna be a fantastic show. And uh, I'm, I'm telling you, man, you wanna get on one of this uh, uh, culinary tour, contact us. Um, and we're gonna get to take you, yeah, yeah. How, how, is, how is the culinary tour so far? Great. You like the history? I'm having a good time with it. Yes, and I like the history. And it's good to know history. Okay? Nice. Because okay. that means we don't repeat history. Okay? Yeah. So, we're getting ready to try the local cuisine. How was it we're last night? Um, dinner last Dutch. night. Oh, that was excellent. <laughs> How was it? My Ming? Ming one? Shi Ming. Shi Ming. Shi Ming is... Shi Ming was the... authentic... Chinese, um, Chinese, Suriname, Suriname Chinese. Chinese. Okay, They're very, very good guys. Like the one we get in Chinatown in um, Borough Park. Uh -huh. Yeah, similar. Right. But better. You're gonna okay. send me some of the photos so I can stitch it in this video, yes. and they get to see what's going on. Yes. Right. I definitely Would you recommend this uh, culinary tour to? Uh, I know we we like what we're doing. We're not getting to do as much as we can. Mm -hmm because of the situation yes right i understand i know but remember now everybody is not gonna want to do everything but what we're doing is great mm. okay good. so far so good i love it all right okay good all right bigger things to come hey, that's it right there, there man there you that's go. it right there <laughs> and again elizabeth samsung's um residence the one of the richest black women who owned the plantation and yes she had slaves but she was actually protecting them instead of having them brutalized right so elizabeth sampson very rich history on her and they're restoring her residence turn it into a historical site that's right there. I gotta watch you eat better, boy. Let's All right. take the picture. <laughs> what, what, what do we have here, uh, uh, Dr. Mm. Jab? Delicious semi-whole wheat bread and butter. Let me see, let me see on the Yummy. inside. You had it toasted? Toasted as well. Yo, bro. They, they skimped it on the butter, but it's They skimped on the butter. You should tell him, slap it. Yo, that's just no, like, uh, no complaints. You had the a New York deli, deli, like a New York deli. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? What do you get, big guy? Um, you got a ham and cheese sandwich on 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 the on wheat bread. Yeah. Oh. Maliolami. Where you got by? A cheese and bread. Mm -hmm. Cheese and bread by. Right. <laughs> no, it's it's a, it's a light light snack. Does that show you describing? Brilliant. Hey Amen. They're having fun. Me, I'm not gonna eat anything right now because I know uh, the street food I'm gonna go get, we're gonna get worse, we're gonna go do all of that, right? So I don't wanna take up space from what I'm doing. Once the tour is happy, we're gonna be good, all right? See you when I see you guys. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Backyard Cafe Culinary Tour in the heart of Paramaribo and just got some breakfast for the tour. We are in Suriname on the culinary tour and we are doing a city tour, a historical city tour. And we are in the art museum right now. And um, art is expression of freedom. Uh, uh, a lot of different stuff that uh, you can express through art. And here is one of my favorite right here. 
I walked in and this captured my eyes. Freedom. Beauty. Here is another one that I admire also. Right here. So, in the middle of Par Marble, Backyard Cafe Culinary Tour, the, um, the tour guides, our tour guides brought us to the art museum and the folks are loving the slideshow of this segment right here, the art museum in Par Marble. Like, share, subscribe guys. You're gonna love this also. And also, here is one of the famous artists and his work is right over in the corner over there. He can bring it to there and he can explain yes. it also to you. Yes. It's much better. So, I'm lucky enough to be with one of the art professor. So, go ahead and tell us your name and... Yes, uh, good uh, afternoon. Uh, my work is all about reality and history. Because growing up in a country, a lot of things uh, happen uh, to us. And it's like we are afraid to ask questions. You know, why, why, why we go like this with our Sudanese brothers or other brothers from Guyana, you know? Um, a lot of killings had taken place. And we were very afraid in growing up. So I use art as a tool to raise discussion and not to say, okay, he did it or that one did it. I am more from, okay, it happened. How we can um, help to stimulate and talking over the situation. And mm -hmm. it is uh, with history, but it also has to do with gender. You know, it has to do with a lot of other issues. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, uh, a theory, uh, for instance, uh, take uh, this uh, work. This one? Yes, it is. And uh, look, we are brought up in, an, in a church setting. You know, uh, you teach me the Ten Commandments. I must say to, not of lately I go visit the church uh, frequently. Now I'm also on that path in, what you call it, uh, 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 getting information over the spiritual life that our ancestors uh, brought uh, with, with us. And everywhere there's uh, evil. You know, uh, that is why the, 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 the cross is, because the church also have a lot of bad things needed in slavery. You understand? Uh, um, but nobody wants to talk over... They were free to, to say it, express it. Yes. So this is basically what you were expressing here. So we're seeing the cross with the blood. Exactly. Right? And the fish is a symbol of the... How you call it? It's a very deadly fish, the piranha. When you put your foot in it, you know, with blood, you kill it in instantly. Mm -hmm. But from the outside, it looks so peacefully. So that is the setting what we have uh, in Suriname. Mm -hmm. uh, of lately, uh, we, because of the politi politics around uh, everything, we cannot, we cannot enjoy each other company as it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You understand? If I meet my good brother here, I will, will look at him. From distance. From distance. You're from that, that part, yeah, from you that part. I, I, I'm not going to uh, acknowledge that he has a lot, a lot more knowledge and a lot more sense than than me. But I'm going to say, what, what, what is that black man uh, doing with his hair like that? You understand? There's a story behind every man and woman. They can enjoy each other and look, you know, uh, beyond what we see in front of us. Because if I am lost in the forest, mm -hmm. as my colored man, who must lead me out of that forest? Yeah. My brother here. That's right. You understand? <laughs> so if I'm hungry in the forest and I don't know the plants and the thing and I'm uh, how you call it uh, I take a plant mm -hmm. 
and I, I bite on a poison plant, I am dead in a second. Mm -hmm. My brother again, he knows his item food. It's what the forest give you. Why, 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 why my brother parents become, uh, can become 90 years, but we, our color, normally don't reach 70 or 60 years old. It's because of the knowledge what you guys have from the forest. Oh, okay. So that is Good. my work all about. And this one right here? This one is about the, what you call it, uh, uh, the bond between the, the Netherlands, the, the colonialism, and um, what do you call it? Uh, they say the motherland is paradise. But in that paradise, when you are living there, you know, they say the rich uh, glasses are the future. Rather than my small hut in the forest. Okay. Here. <laughs> here. So and this here basically expressing two different world. life, two different worlds. Yes. You think that something is beautiful mm -hmm. when you never experience it. But then beneath you, is beneath. a lot of bloodshed once you get deep into it. Amen. And this one? This is uh, for the Lady of Justice, you know? The Lady of Justice. It's, it's, it's. So this is her right here? Yes. And it has the scale. Yes. Yes. The sword. And also how we men treat our woman. Perceive. So we see her like that, right? And she's still standing on the yes. pillar. Yes. And then we have... Yes. Oh, it's, it's like, okay, we are, we are all men. You understand? Yes. Uh, but we see our woman as a, a sex symbol. But a woman is more than a sex symbol. A woman carries your children, is your mother, nurture, take, care. take care of them. You understand? It's not only about that. The woman has more to offer than alone. And of course, we are men, you know, but let me try to have this decency to appreciate women for who they are. And of course, the Lady of Justice is uh, to see what is happening in our beautiful country. Yes, over the weekend it was. Over the weekend. Yeah. You understand? It is, uh, if you say there's a system justice for all, then do the thing justice for all. Not because you have money as a politician, then you do certain things and you still work free. Mm -hmm. what, what was I, what kind of values I need to have growing up? Yes. Can I go and kill one of my brothers? Just because he has another way of thinking, another way of doing. So I will kill one of his family members and because I have money. You go free with it. You go. That is my main issue. Yeah. Good. So put that, a standard. See if yeah, that's the standard. rule. Yeah. Comes for everybody. Exactly. That's it. Thank you so much for showing off your art and giving us that. Could you give us your name, um, Professor? My I'm just a just normal artist. artist. Uh, <laughs> I'm blessed to be an artist. Uh, I have a lot more to learn. My name is uh, Kurt uh, Nahar and I am represented by this beautiful uh, gallery, Ready Text, but also through the Rossi uh, Garden Wallace uh, in uh, Miami. All right, good. Thank you so much. You're All right, welcome. so guys, very historical um, tour, right? here in par marble thank you so much don't forget like share and subscribe see you when i see you let's go on to the next leg